where did they go? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie characters that sequels totally forgot. For this list, we'll be going over some of the characters from films who either completely vanished from the sequels or whose roles were drastically diminished. We won't be including characters whose actors died between movies, like the Joker. Let's put a smile on that face. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Sif, Thor Ragnarok And who proved wrong all who scoffed at the idea that a young maiden could be one of the fiercest warriors this realm has ever known? I did. True, but I supported you, Sif. Thor's allies before his third movie tend to be forgotten pretty often, both by fans and the movies themselves. Did anybody even notice that Hogan left early in Thor The Dark World, or remember his name? Still, of Thor's friends, Sif is arguably the most memorable, and her absence in Thor Ragnarok is unexplained in the film. I thank you for your sword and for your counsel, good lady Sif. Out of universe, her actress was filming a TV show at the same time and could not appear, while producer Kevin Feige has claimed that Loki banished her, but even so, Sif deserved a name drop at least. Betray and I'll kill you. Number 9. Tom Hagen, The Godfather Part 3 The lawyer and consigliere of the Corleone crime family, Tom Hagen is among the most level-headed characters in the film series as well as the most trusted man who isn't a direct blood relation. Some of the other families won't sit still for They never had me, The father would want to hear this. This is business, not personal. They shot my father as business. Even the shooting of your father was business, not personal, sonny. However, despite being a prominent part of the first two movies, Hagen did not appear in part three, with the only mention of him being that he passed away sometime between the second and third movies. His father was a great lawyer. I know. Didn't live to see him ordained. I did. Reportedly, actor Robert Duvall could not reach a salary agreement with the filmmakers, and a planned storyline involving a split between Hagen and Michael had to be cut, which is a real shame. It's because I admire you and I love you that I kept things secret from you. That's why at this moment you're the only one I can completely trust. Number 8. Michaela Baines Transformers Dark of the Moon. I can't believe that I'm here right now. A budding mechanic and the love interest of the franchise's initial human protagonist, Sam Witwicky, who also nearly made our list, Michaela Baines is a pretty standard heroine in a Michael Bay movie. Still, while she's generally there for fan service, Michaela does have some depth to her, which is more than most of the human characters. But Michaela is essentially replaced with a new model, figuratively and literally in the third film. I'm gonna hold you to that. Just never let me go. This happened after actress Megan Fox made some disparaging remarks about the franchise's director Michael Bay, and there seems to be little love lost between them. Sam? Michaela. Is that your girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Ex. Number 7. John Myers. Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Sir, I'm John. Agent John T. Myers, Kansas City, 76. T stands for Thaddeus, mother's older brother. Scar on your chin happened when you were 10. You still wonder if it's ever going to fade away. New guy didn't last long, huh? Myers was introduced in the first Hellboy film as an FBI agent recruited to the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense to act as the titular demonic hero's liaison. He acts as the audience surrogate, allowing us to be introduced to Hellboy and his team naturally, while also offering some tension with the big red guy's love interest. He loves you, you know. What about you? Strangely, Myers is nowhere to be seen in the sequel, though it is mentioned that he was shipped off to Antarctica at Hellboy's request. Although his primary narrative purposes had been served in the first film, you figure the creators could have found something new for him to do. Are you sure about this? On a scale of 1 to 10, 2. Don't worry, Boy Scout. She'll take care, care of you. She's a tough one. Number 6. Dr. Laurel Weaver, Men in Black 2. A coroner who does autopsies on several aliens brought into her morgue, Dr. Laurel Weaver becomes involved with the Men in Black when they check in on her patients. Despite getting her memory temporarily erased, Dr. Weaver gets roped back into things after another alien comes looking for something the deceased left behind. In the end, she ends up saving the day and even joining the Men in Black. Interesting job you guys have. 
And yet, when the sequel came around, her character, dubbed Agent L, is revealed to have gone back to her old job between films. It was, and plus, you can't count L. I mean, she wanted to go back to the morgue. I just, I helped her. Reasons for the actress's absence vary, but whatever the cause, it certainly would have been nice to see her back. It's okay, Laurel. How is it okay? I'm saying it's gonna be okay. Number five, the Dursleys, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Get up. Now. The eponymous boy wizard's awful non-magical relatives, the Dursleys may have raised him, but they certainly didn't love him, and the feeling is mutual. Ah, keep away from me. You're not allowed to do magic outside school. Yeah, try me. However, the family are a necessary evil that Harry must endure every year, as his blood relation to them keeps him hidden from Voldemort. Despite appearing in all the books the series is based off of, their appearance in the fourth entry in the series is omitted entirely. Harry! <sighs> are you all right? Hermione, bad dream. When did you get here? While the book saw a protracted scene of the Weasley family picking him up from their house, with disastrous results, the Goblet of Fire movie begins after they've already gotten him. Number 4. Effie Trinket – The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 One of the more colorful side characters in the Hunger Games franchise, both literally and figuratively, Effie Trinket is the capital advisor to Katniss and Peeta. Eyes bright, chins up, smiles on. Although initially a shallow, fashion-obsessed woman emblematic of the capital's excesses and obliviousness, Effie becomes more empathetic as the series goes on, even joining the rebellion in the penultimate film in a movie original storyline. Miss my wigs. Luckily I remembered that this was all the rage when I was coming up. However, her role is drastically reduced in the final movie compared to the previous one. Granted, the filmmakers had a lot to wrap up, but it would have been nice to see the arc they'd built for her go further than it did. Goodbye. Goodbye, my girl. If you don't be a stranger. Number three, Lois Lane, Superman 3. Good evening, Miss Lane. Uh, hi. Renowned as the plucky reporter who romances the Man of Steel, Lois Lane is a mainstay of Superman media. And yet, the third movie in the 70s and 80s franchise saw the character sidelined. Superman 3 essentially replaces Lois Lane with Clark Kent's high school sweetheart Lana Lang. The series sure loves its double L characters, doesn't it? Oh, Lana. Lois, say hello to Lana Lang, Smallville's newest gift to Metropolis. I'm glad to meet you, Miss Lane. According to Lane's actress, Margot Kidder, her character's smaller role in Superman 3 was due to her expressing dissatisfaction at the studio's treatment of director Richard Donner in the previous two films. Quite the scoop. Look, Lois. I understand. I understand. Number 2. Rose Tico – Star Wars Episode 9: The Rise of Skywalker One of the Resistance members introduced in Star Wars The Last Jedi, Rose Tico loses her sister in battle and then embarks on a side mission with Finn. Stop enjoying this! Stop enjoying this! Whether you're a fan of hers or not, there's no argument over the fact that Rose had a heavily reduced presence in the sequel, The Rise of Skywalker. After being a part of one of the more divisive subplots in an already divisive movie, Rose is reduced to a glorified background character in the final installment, barely having any lines and not having much of an impact on the plot. Wait, do we believe this? Supposedly, much of Rose's material was cut, as it heavily involved scenes with General Leia, whose actress passed away, necessitating their excision. May the Force be with you. Wow, you too. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You don't need to know my name. The only thing you need to know is the job's real and the money's real. But since we're in this nice place, you might as well just call me Mr. Church. Oh, my name's Casey Jones. I'm a friend, Anna Maria. I suppose you didn't deserve that one either. No, that one I deserve. Tango unit, moving into position. We have the hybrid in sight. Hold your fire. Oh, the torpedo's in the weapons bay. Loaded and ready to fire. What are they? I don't know. That's why I forged my transfer onto your ship, to find out why. I do apologize for that. By the way, if I cause you any problems, I am sorry. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications.
Number 1. Rogue, X-Men Days of Future Past Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. You don't know or you don't care. Pick one. Although this franchise is known for dropping characters from sequels, Nightcrawler from The Last Stand anyone, arguably the biggest diss is to Rogue in X-Men Days of Future Past. What'll happen to her? Well, that's up to her. Rejoin the world as an educated young woman, or stay on to teach others. The southern mutant with the power to temporarily take powers from others and or suck the life out of them, Rogue is almost absent from the theatrical version of the movie, only appearing in a cameo at the film's end. Rogue was originally intended to feature prominently in a subplot in the film, which was ultimately excised entirely. However, an alternate version of the film with the deleted scenes restored, appropriately titled The Rogue Cut, has been released. Rogue, Rogue, Rogue. It's okay. He's with me. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Six minutes later.